Who knew you could find endangered tropical mammals hanging around in Santa Clarita? The Gibbon Center is located only minutes away from Santa Clarita on Bouquet Canyon Road. And on Saturday, they hosted a fundraising event to help keep the sanctuary up and running. What we're doing today is having our annual or biannual fundraiser. This one's called Thanksgiving. We are run completely by donations here. So these fundraisers are very important for us, for our operation. Um, we have 41 gibbons here. We spend about $600 a week on produce. So it's, it's, a, it's a big, we need a big budget. Uh, and that's just for feeding the gibbons. The center is always in need of some extra hands, so getting involved with the endangered unique creatures is easy and fun. We're open every Saturday and Sunday from 9.30 to noon, and you can just you can just come. You don't have to make an appointment. We are right now in the process of developing an educational program, and eventually it will be K through 12, uh, but it's starting, it'll start in, I believe, next semester, and that'll be for second and third graders. And really you can go on our website and see our volunteer opportunities. We are very highly volunteer based since there's only three of us. And it's it's a it's a good opportunity for people because you can once you do get into the primate keeping volunteer, the, the primate caregiver volunteer program, you can really get fairly up close and personal with the Gibbons because we do hand feed them and that's an opportunity you don't really get everywhere. For more information on how you can get involved with the Gibbons go to www.gibbonscenter.org. I'm Haley Cook for Cougar News. strict policies regarding what you who can interact with them even who can handle their food without gloves um, we even what we try and, and do is um, we, we never we never our policy is we if I won't eat it given we can't eat it so we, we have to give them kind of fresh produce every day
through the Gibbons 10 times a day. We do have volunteer programs where volunteers can come and do that. Um, a lot of our work is monitoring and watching Gibbons, writing grants, developing kind of captive care management for Gibbons. Not, not that many people work with this many Gibbons, so we have a lot of experience here.